The simple way is one sutra from um, Mahurta Chintamani, where he says that eclipses in 3rd, 6th, 10th, and 11th for moon are auspicious. Okay, Just like Gochara. Okay, maybe, maybe not. That's a little too simple. But yes, if you have an eclipse, and if it is in an Upachaya, 3, 6, 10, or 11, from your moon, you'll you'll experience the eclipse with less stress, even if it takes something away, okay? Kind of just like Saturn in 3, 6, and 11 from the moon. It might take something, but then you're kind of glad it takes it, okay? So um, that's not very, that's not enough. We need to go deeper than that, all right? So the simple way is we simply see what the eclipse lands on in the chart, very specifically, what planet, what Baba cuts. And yes, we can check the whole Rashi, but it helps to narrow it down and really see, you know, how what planets is it really close to? If it starts getting within an, five degrees of a planet, super powerful. Okay. If it gets within, uh, if it's in the same Navamsha as the planet, major eclipse influence. Now, I find some people are more sensitive than other people. Some people will notice a transit, an eclipse to their moon when the moon's at two degrees and the eclipse at 20 degrees. And another person won't feel it as much, okay? So you have to sort of you know, decide with each person as you work with them how much range of orb you have to use. If it's in the sign, it's a conjunction and you will affect it though. Some people will just respond more powerfully because they're more reactive okay 